For years they've been coming. The wildebeest have made this trek to the northern part of the Serengeti Mara. They come north following the rain. And when the rain ends and moves further south, they do a return journey back down to the Serengeti Plains where they started. It is a journey filled with obstacles. One major one is the Mara River. They have to cross it, and they have crossed it several times. And lying in wait in that river are some of Africa's largest crocodiles. These crocodiles need only eat one wildebeest per year to get all the food they need. Some of the wildebeests have never even seen a crocodile, have no idea of the danger that lurks there. But they know the danger of the river. Predators can be lurking anywhere. Some get trapped among the rocks, but most make it to the other side. Mothers get separated from calves. Once they get to the other side, they follow the steep hippo trails up. Some will be injured. Some may be killed. Others find an easier crossing place. The crocodiles have heard the commotion. They have a line of sensors in their sides. But they can feel the pounding of the earth. And at a leisurely pace, they enter the water. There's no hurry. This is a big crossing. There are lots of wilderness. Something seems to be wrong with this wildebeest. It's fighting. This is a bull wildebeest, and he's not about to go under quickly. He fights back. The crocodile is only about three meters long. Not huge, but still quite capable of killing this bull. He tries to shake the croc off. For 15 minutes the battle went on, and then another crocodile came in. We knew at that time the bull was doomed. With two crocodiles on him, he could not possibly escape. But nothing is certain. Crocodiles are very smart animals, especially for reptiles. The stranded calf hasn't been able to get off that rock, finally moves around. And that's one calf that will not be completing the migration. A migration that will cover over 1,500 kilometers. It looks like a killing field. 
There are wildebeest bones everywhere. But this is food for vultures and storks and crocodiles. And nothing gets wasted. The wounded ones are quickly picked off by the lions. And many, many just die. There are more vultures here than just about any place in Africa. But the herd goes on. And next year they'll return to do the same incredible crossing.